Hello, I'm Darren. And I'm Julia. And today we're doing the Reflections, December the 17th, on Hail the Heaven-Born Prince of Peace. From the book of Isaiah in the Holy Bible, written around 700 years before Jesus came into the world, born as a human. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. In the New Testament, we read in Mark's Gospel that Jesus and his friends were out on the boat when a huge storm came up. Waves poured into the boat, threatening to sink it, and Jesus was in the stern, his head on a pillow sleeping. They roused him, saying, Teacher, don't you care if we drown? Jesus got up, rebuked the wind, and said to the waves, Quiet, be still. And then the wind died down, and it was completely calm. The disciples were terrified and asked each other, Who is this? Even the wind and the waves obey him. This Christmas, it might not feel that there is much peace in the world and perhaps even in our own lives. I wonder if sometimes we pray in the hope that Jesus, the Prince of Peace, would say quiet, be still to the storms in our own lives and around the world today. Many of us celebrate Christmas by putting up decorations in our homes and perhaps even a Christmas tree. So let me tell you an old, old story about trees. And we pray that this might inspire your Christmas celebrations and bring you peace from the Prince of Peace. Once upon a mountain top, three little trees stood and dreamed of what they wanted to become when they grew up. The first little tree looked up at the stars and said, I want to hold treasure. I want to be covered with gold and filled with precious stones. I'll be the most beautiful treasure chest in the world. The second little tree looked out at the small stream trickling by on its way to the ocean. I want to be travelling mighty waters and carrying powerful kings. I'll be the strongest ship in the world. The third little tree looked down into the valley below where busy men and women worked in a busy town. I don't want to leave the mountain top at all. I want to grow so tall that when people stop to look at me, they'll raise their eyes to heaven and think of God. I will be the tallest tree in the world. Years passed, the rain came, the sun shone, and the little trees grew tall. One day, three woodcutters climbed a mountain. The first woodcutter looked at the first tree and said, This tree is beautiful. It is perfect for me. And with a swoop of his shining axe, the first tree fell. Now I shall make a beautiful chest. I shall hold wonderful treasure, the first tree said. The second woodcutter looked at the second tree and said, this tree is strong. It's perfect for me. And with a swoop of his shining axe, the second tree fell. Now I shall say on mighty waters, thought the second tree. I shall be a strong ship for mighty kings. The third tree felt her heart sink when the last woodcutter looked her way. She stood straight and tall and pointed bravely to heaven. But the woodcutter never even looked up. Any kind of tree will do for me, he muttered, and with a swoop of his shining axe, the third tree fell. Well, the first tree rejoiced when the woodcutter brought her to a carpenter's shop, but the carpenter fashioned the tree into a feed box for animals. The once beautiful tree was not covered with gold or treasure. She was coated with sawdust and filled with hay for hungry farm animals. The second tree smiled when the woodcutter took him to a shipyard, but no mighty sailing ship was made that day. Instead, the once strong tree was hammered and oared into a simple fishing boat. He was too small and too weak to sail to an ocean or even a river. Instead, he was taken to a little lake. The third tree was confused when the woodcutter cut her into strong beams and left her in a lumber yard. What happened? The once tall tree wondered. All I ever wanted was to stay on the mountain top and point to God. Many days and nights passed. The three trees nearly forgot their dreams. But one night, golden starlight poured over the first tree as a young woman placed her newborn baby in the feed box. I wish I could make a cradle for him, her husband whispered. The mother squeezed his hand and smiled as the starlight shone on the smooth and sturdy wood. This manger is beautiful, she said. 
and suddenly the first tree knew he was holding the greatest treasure in the world. One evening, a tired traveller and his friends crowded into an old fishing boat. The traveller fell asleep as the second tree quietly sailed out into the, into the lake. Suddenly, a thundering and a thrashing storm arose. The little tree shuddered. He knew he did not have the strength to carry so many passengers safely through the wind and the rain. The tired man awoke. He stood up, stretched out his hand and said, peace. The storm stopped as quickly as it began. And suddenly the second tree knew he was carrying the king of heaven and earth. One Friday morning, the third tree was startled when her beams were yanked from the forgotten wood pile. She flinched as she was carried through an angry jeering crowd. She shuddered when the soldiers nailed a man's hand to her. She felt ugly, harsh and cruel. But on Sunday morning, when the sun rose and the earth trembled with joy beneath her, the third tree knew that God's love had changed everything. It had made the third tree strong. And every time people thought of the third tree, they would think of God. And that was better than being the tallest tree in the world. We're just going to finish with a short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for sending Jesus, the Prince of Peace, into the world. We pray for the peace that only God can provide in all our lives this Christmas time. Amen. Amen. God bless you and peace be with you this Christmas.